So next thing we're going to do is create an iterator. And for a linked list, an iterator is going to go through uh, one element at a time and uh, return the data for each element. But in order to do that effectively, uh, you could build an iterator that uses a, a internal index. That would be a reasonable idea, but I am going to exploit the fact that there's going to be a node, a series of nodes in here that we're going to use the next to advance the iterator. What that means is when I create an iterator, the iterator I build needs to have a node inside of it. Now there's a problem because iterator is a class that I need to create. Well, it's a interface that I need to implement with a class. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is check out that iterator class. And I've already written that. I've called it custom iterator here. Now in here, I'm going to need a node. So I have the exact same node right there. And I'm going to have a current node. So when I create an iterator, this current node is going to point to the beginning, to the head, which is the parameter I have in the constructor right here. So when I build an iterator, create an iterator, I'm going to set current to be the head. There's only a few methods iterators have. I'm not using the remove, uh, but there's a has next, which is returns true or false based on is there something next or not. And if current is null, there's nothing next. So that's all has next is just returns if current's not null. Then next is really where everything happens. And what next does, it does two things. It advances the iterator to the next element, but also just as important, it returns the data that the iterator currently has or is currently pointing to. So I save the data right here, then advance current, then return the data. So that's that's how I did my next right here. If you're going to do an index-based iterator, you'd probably do something like index plus plus, and probably grab the data before you increment index. But this is how I'm going to do it for the linked list. I don't do a remove because just like the previous videos in a single linked list, you'd need to go to the previous element to actually remove. And in a single linked list, there's not a good way to get to the previous element. So I'm not implementing remove. I'm not going to use it. All right, we're going to have a major problem, however. And it's going to be a problem with scope. So before I just return null, because I didn't want an error, so my code would run. Uh, now, I make a new custom iterator. That's just fine. But the problem is, I'm sending in head, which is a node. So far, so good. But let's look at the error. It says incompatible type, my link list node cannot be converted to custom iterator node. Why is that? They're both the same. They're both private class node, exactly the same lines of code. The problem is, where are we? The problem is where they live. So each of these class nodes live inside of different classes. One is in custom iterator, the other is inside of my link list. So what I need to do is take this class node, instead of being an inner class, which means it can only be accessed from the class it's inside of, in this case, my link list, I need to make it a regular class. I'm going to create a file and then make this a regular class. We're going to have another issue because it needs a type right here. So it's going to need another type parameter. So I'm going to show you how that changes all of our code in the next video.